going on shroomies what's going on shroomets how y'all feeling how y'all feeling hope everybody's all right so let's get down to it today we're gonna try our first attempt to inoculate these agar plates with two liquid cultures and one multi-spore syringe okay so I'm gonna go ahead and set this area up real quick and we're gonna get to it now mind you everything is already prepped and cleaned with the 70% iso alcohol and I prepped and cleaned the still air box and let the still air box and everything sit for about 35 minutes before I started washed my hands and I sewed my arms and gloves. All right, so right here, I'm just um, opening up the lids a little bit, popping the lid just so that way when we are ready to inoculate that we can just pop the lid over real quick, squirt our solution, close the lid, set it to the side, and move on. Remember, set yourself up. Don't set yourself up for failure. You wanna set yourself up for success. Remember, the longer you have the lid open, the more contaminations that that agar plate is susceptible to. So, move swift, move with intention. Okay, so we're gonna flame sterilize our needle because this is not the first time it's been used. We're gonna let it cool down a bit. And then gonna remove our lid. Get your hands in the position so that way you don't over squirt. I'm just gonna inject a nice little drop into the center if possible. Slide that over and continue on each one. Flame sterilize. So the reason I'm not too worried about the flame and having the alcohol because I let the still air box sit for a half an hour. I figured I would have time for the fumes to evaporate some. Trust me, I was being cautious. I definitely didn't want that thing to explode in my face or blow up the damn kitchen. So we took caution. So just a little drop, close it back up, slide it over and start on the next. Okay, and right here is a perfect example of why you need to let it cool down. You can see a little bit of steam come off the tip of the needle right there. So we're going to just watch that one and see how that does. Okay, so that's it for this one specific variety. We're going to slide that over to the side, keep that organized prepare for the next okay all of this is just the same exact process pop your lid and check the solution now make sure you shake up your syringe pretty well so that way you don't get a clogged syringe like I just had right there go ahead Hit it with the light. Get a 
nice and red even though you can't see it it is there we go let it cool down we don't want no evaporation of any sort nice little drop in the middle close it up slide it over last one for the liquid culture there we go nice and red and we're gonna go ahead and let that cool down for a second Bong, bong. There we go. Close it up. Cap your needle. And we're good to go. Let's hit the next one. All right, all right. We got the last ones. This one is the multi-spore syringe. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same process. Nice and swift. Move with intention. There we go. So this last agar plate lid gave me some issues um, closing. And um, you can see here, we got some right there in the middle, nice little amount, but for some reason, the lid like folded under itself and I'll show you in the update video exactly what I mean. Let's get it, let's go. Seven days later, and we have some action. Very nice. So I wasn't checking this every day like a delinquent, like how I was with my Uncle Ben's bag. So I'm actually surprised to see. Look at that, that's nice. Climbing up the wall, that's so cool. Ah, looks like a little island. Nice and clean. Very 3D. That's dope. That is dope. Man, this stuff is so cool. I feel like a nerd, but it's all right. I'll be a nerd sometimes. Look at that. So far, everything's checking out pretty well. So cool. I can live on that island. Just sit there with a coconut. Okay. So 
far so good on the liquid cultures. That's expected. Well, I was at least. And we got the uh, multi spore. Just a little bit of mycelium. Little clouds along the edge. I'm honestly not expecting too much out of this. I have some growing right now in uh, some rye bags, so I know that this is clean. I just wanted to see how long it would take versus a liquid culture. And that last one that gave me a problem with closing the lid didn't have anything on it at all. So this right here is nine days later. Still looking nice and well. All these babies looking good. Look at that yellow. I love that yellow agar. It looks so nice. Yellow is my favorite color, anyways, but that looks so nice. almost the whole bottom that's gonna be nice we're gonna we're definitely gonna use that one everything's getting used but I'm taking notes on certain things I feel like a mad scientist all right as you can see my temperature right down there is 78 degrees, 77. That nice, still climbing up the wall. We have some on the flat surface. Very nice. I'm very happy with these results, man. This experience is beautiful. It's like therapy. So peaceful. So interesting. You're always learning something new. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, man. It's a little mountain now. Very nice. Mount Mycelium. Okay. That's the last one. Very nice. And I did not make any of these agar plates. I um, ordered these from Esti. Is that how you pronounce it? Etsy. 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 E S T Y. I ordered it from there. <laughs> yeah, I ordered it from there. Very nice. And I want to show you this lid. I didn't show you on the last clip. But look how this lid's folded up on me. And we still have nothing out of there, but it's fine. I'm not expecting much. Look at that. So air is definitely getting in there. All in all, I'm super excited with my results. Cannot complain one bit. First time, I am hype. Let's go. All right, shroomies and shroomettes. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I appreciate y'all for vibing with your boy. Peace.